My phone was stolen while solo travelling Thailand and I'm about to explain to you the full story including the dangers you need to look out for and the real reason why I came home early. The event happened on Koh Phi Phi or the Phi Phi Islands. I was staying at the Lucky Dorm Hostel and compared to other accommodation it's pretty rough. I was getting ready to go on a night out with some of my travelling friends and so we had a few drinks. Six or seven drinks in going between the shops and the beach I thought of a brilliant idea. A special idea. Let's take part in a boxing match for volunteers. And this was at the reggae bar on Koh Phi Phi which is, I'm not even joking, 20 metres away from our hostel. They're right next to each other. The idea is great. It's a bar with a boxing ring in the middle and people volunteer to go and just fight each other for a free bucket of alcohol. That's the incentive. I'll be honest, I had already heard of it before getting to Koh Phi Phi, so it was in the back of my mind, but once I got there, I was like, yeah, go on then. Free bucket of alcohol? I'm sold. I'd like to say there was a bit of alcoholic confidence that got me in the ring, but anyway, I got in and had my fight and I did actually win. I just have no proof of it, apart from this, which which is a participation medal. Still doesn't count for me because both people get it and the video I did have is gone. So I got my free bucket after winning the fight and because I won, one of my traveling friends bought me another free bucket. You can see where this is going. After a couple more drinks at the reggae bar, watching some of the other fights, which are very entertaining, we ventured around to the Slinky Bar, which is on the beach. And everything's walking distance on Koh Phi Phi, so it took maximum 10 minutes. And at this point, I'm starting to feel it. So we arrive at the Slinky Bar and, oh, another challenge. Ride the mechanical ball naked for a free bucket of alcohol. I didn't do it naked, don't worry, I could not humiliate myself that much. And if I did, it would not be on YouTube. I only took my top off, tried my best, and yeah, somebody tipped alcohol over me, and you can see by the look of me in the video, I'm not 100% there. And to make it even better, somebody else, I think it was like an Australian couple, bought me another bucket of alcohol just for participating. Speaking to that couple was at about 2am and the next thing I remember was waking up by myself on the beach in the pitch black about four hours later. I was sitting on a rock with a bottle of water, there was nobody around me and I go to check my pockets no phone and i was that rough i was in no state to look for it so i stumbled back to the hostel and went straight to bed i woke up the german girl that i was traveling with let her know and we woke up at about half 10 11 the next day to try and look for it i had my ipad on me so i could use find my iphone we tracked it as much as we could got the police involved it had been moved to a specific area and when we were there looking around there was somebody else also looking for their phone that they'd lost or been stolen hours went past we tried again the next day no luck so i filed a police report kept all the documents and had to let my insurance company know there's some clear points to take away from this though be careful when you're out drinking travelers are walking targets especially when they can't function properly please bear in mind that this can happen in any country i actually feel safer in thailand than i do in the uk the thai people are so friendly and i never felt in danger or threatened at any point throughout my travels this is just a reminder to take responsibility over your possessions and to not be an idiot because at the end of the day this was my fault also make sure to surround yourself with good people when you're there because it really helped me that's practically and emotionally i guess because it's a bit of a shit situation not that it prevented me from having a good time for my final few days wink wink <laughs> but this wasn't the reason i came home as annoying as it was at the time i now see it as a little bit of a blessing something was bothering me while i was solo traveling i don't know what it was and i couldn't put my finger on it and this situation made me take a step back and reflect it might sound weird but I felt like I didn't deserve to be there yet. I've got a long-term vision and there's certain goals which I want to hit. One of which is working off a remote source of income and having the freedom to go wherever I want. And at that point in time, I was not at that goal. I'd started to take the baby steps, but I just wasn't there yet. Yes, I could have continued traveling if I bought another phone or just gone without one. But in my eyes, I would have been wasting more time and also money. So I booked the flight back and I didn't tell my family or my friends. <laughs>
Since being back in the UK, I've now been building the blocks to go out again and do it properly. And that is in January 2024. Thailand round two. We're going back. <laughs>